Hello everybody again. Um, I was asked to do a test of ESET Smart Security 4. I was just going to give it a quick prevention test. It's going to be the same links that I used for K7 Total Security. Right now I'm in the middle of an update. Um, not the middle anymore. 95% done. Um, I'm going to go under a quick uh, just edit of the modes here. Um, I'm going to configure some things. And I tend to like to turn everything up. Um, just because I want to make sure everything is doing nicely. Perfect. Everything there seems okay. Um, perfect. Uh, everything seems to be running the way I want. Why is this not functional? There we go. It says I am missing updates and therefore I will not be fully protected. But because I do not care about that, everything is okay. I am going to pause the video and drag my links in here. All set. So I'm just going to go right ahead here and get going. And again, if you want to compare you can take a look at my K7 um, my K7 antivirus video um, yeah. Great. It's quarantined. It's blocked it. ESET is a really loved security suite um, by a lot of people. Um, it tends to do a really good job. I remember this one. I'm canceling this because I have no idea what it is. I should have deleted that link. I am for the most part trusting that this will not let any of this stuff through. Um, wow, is this not working? This stuff just worked. I mean, just. I just did the uh, K7 review about an hour ago. Blocked. Trojans. I think that one that wasn't working seemed to be an exploit. And 
If we take a look here, it's blocked. Another cryptic Z Trojan. If I click here, yeah. Connection terminated. So it found it a rootkit uh, agent. So it's letting stuff partially in, and it's expanding files. They have a chance to expand files a little bit, but it's catching things before anything can really happen. Um, online games. Trojan. So, it terminates the connection so that it cannot continue to load, which is a nice thing. Well, this is still trying to get things in. Um... Now, it has not yet... ...detected the file on the computer. But... ...it has merely detected that it is malicious files behind... ...this... ...uh, web page. Since this is taking a long time to download... I'm going to try to get away from this website. So here's a little Trojan again. It detects uh, the same thing again. Let me restart my browser. Start. Oh, it already got that. Never mind. It seems to be doing quite well, if you ask me. Um, it is detecting little temporary things here and there. Um, but that doesn't really worry me. I think that used to work. Um... detection um let's take a look here it still seems like it's trying to access um so so it, it let things in partially, and now it's telling me I have to reboot to clean the files. Yeah, it's still finding little things here and there. Um, if I look at my task manager, I still see little things here and there. Um, so, since I have just enough time, I'm going to reboot this and see if it still gets the alerts when it finishes rebooting. Okay, so this booted back up, I get a flash player thing. Um, it's legitimate, but ESET is red right here. And I don't know why it's saying that, there we go. And it seems not to be finding anything, like on Reboot, it did clean everything. If we look under here, I'm noticing that there is no malware. Uh, it's using, actually, like, 48 megabytes of RAM right now, which is not light, I don't think, but I'll live with it. So ESET did great. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm going to see if I can do Zone Alarm now. Bye-bye.